Birmingham, Alabama wants a team in the XFL and Fox interested in televising XFL games. Let's talk about it. Thank you all for joining me here once again for XFL Talk. This is your boy Desmond Dukes. Thank you so much. And we got some stuff to talk about today. But uh, let's go ahead and kick off this first story right now. It is about Birmingham, Alabama wanting an XFL team. Now this comes reported by Mark uh, Perry from the XFL Hub. Big shout out to him. He's been doing some good stuff over there. Um, it says that the Birmingham Iron was the last professional football team based out of Birmingham, Alabama. Now, the Birmingham Iron was an AAF team, which in their first couple games had done just over 17,000 people. Their third game dropped off quite a bit um, because they uh, because of everything that was going on. And they had, I believe it was somewhere just over 6,500, I do believe. I think that's what it was. Yeah. So, and it all, and their games took place in Legion Field, which I think would be a great field for the XFL t team if they get one out of Birmingham to, to have a spot at. And I think that would work out very, very well. Now, William Parker, uh, the Birmingham City Council president, wants a meeting with the new XFL ownership group to discuss bringing a franchise to Birmingham, Alabama. Now, the idea would be to play at Legion Field, which, again, I felt is a, is a great choice. I mean, it's not super huge, but you can still put a nice amount of people in there, um, which can seat 70,000 fans. Now, obviously, you know, they don't need to do 70,000 fans, but if they couldn't get Legion Field, there's always, you know, they do have um, some of, more of their other college um, areas that they could use. Now, um, if anything shows the interest and value in that local city for the XFL, could Birmingham be a possible home for the XFL franchise? Maybe, but not for the 2021 season. Now, that is a very, very good point because the 2021 season they're going to just basically stick with their regular eight teams. They're not going to try and go to, you know, have all these very different, you know, start expanding teams within the 2021 season. I think that would be a not a very smart move. But I think with them coming back, hopefully in 2021, it's still not official, but that's the plan. Come back with those same eight teams. Uh, and then look at possibly expanding, adding Alabama to uh, the 2022 season, that is something that could be doable. So there is that. Now, how do I feel about this? I think this is a great move. I honestly do. I think Birmingham, Alabama is a great, great location. Um, again, they don't have any pro teams there. Um, so they mainly just have college teams. So... Their stadiums, you know, Legion Field mainly is for college. So that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And the fact that they can, you know, just those first couple of weeks pulling in 17,000, if they can continue that trend, that it would be a huge, huge help. And Alabama loves their football. I mean, they are all about their football. Why they don't have an NFL team, I, I don't know. But uh, nevertheless, this is a smart move. I'm sure uh, Dwayne Johnson and and, uh, and Danny Garcia will definitely be eyeing them. And, you know, he wants a meeting. William Parker wants a meeting with them. So that right there shows the interest that they have within the XFL because they want a pro team there. They need a pro team there. And if they can't get one from the NFL, then why not get it in the XFL, which would be the smarter choice at this time. So, yeah, it's a lot of good stuff with that one. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Which now leads me into this story. Now, um, NBC Sports, along with other um, credible news sources, is reporting that 
Fox is interested in the XFL. Now, here's what they had to say. According to Michael McCaffrey of the front office sports, Fox Sports is interested in possibly tele television rights deal with the league should the new owners manage to bring back the formerly bankrupt venture. Now, the XFL had been televised on Fox during the time of Vince McMahon's reign. Now, uh, they have been doing very well because they've had their games on Fox and on FS1 and even a game or two on FS2. So those are great, great adventures. And I think Fox did a great job as far as presentation, as far as getting the right commentary team together. I think they had a great commentary team. So the fact that they're interested in getting the XFL back being televised on their stations is a great, great deal. And, and, and it's a testament again to how, how much value this league has. Now, Here's some things that we need to put in perspective. Number one, they are not going to get the same deal as Vince McMahon got with his XFL. Now, could it be a better deal? Could it be a lesser deal? Either way, that part will be very, very intricate into the, the ongoings of the XFL. Now, the deal could go either way. You got to always look at that and put that in perspective. Now, with Dwayne Drock Johnson taking over that league, you know, and his star power, they they make you know they may cut him a smaller you know a smaller check, or they may <laughs> you know, or they may charge him smaller. They may charge him more. They could work out something where it's close to the same deal as what they got with Vince, but we don't know. We just don't know because these kinds of things just just is a revolving door. It could go in or out. So. Yes, Fox is interested, which is a great thing, and we could be seeing those games once again on our Fox stations. Now, will there be any other stations looking to pick this up as well? Um, I could see ESPN, but um, they are also owned by Disney, so ESPN, and you know, Vince is always big on ESPN, but since Vince is not in charge, they may not get that same type of uh, type of um, hospitality so we don't know i mean there's different there's different stations that could be looking for something you know and the fact that we're not getting any real sports right now now that college is basically done i mean the sec and the acc and the uh and uh the big 12 we don't know we don't know what they're gonna do because as of right now they're they're still having a season they're still having a season. But we know the Pac-10 and the Big Ten and, um, oh gosh, what's that other one? Um, Big Ten, Pac-10. And I think there's like one other one. I can't remember what it is. It's like five of them. So maybe that was all of them then. Yeah, yeah, that was all of them. So anyway, those ones are officially closed down for now. So they will not be televising or having any games, period. So it's a bad thing for college. So a lot of people thought, oh, well, the XFL could just move right in. No, that's not that's not how this is going to work because the XFL has just got way too much going on. And they won't be ready in time to start that season. So television stations are going to be fiending for some content, any type of sports content next year. Now, here's where the XFL will have the problem. The problem that they'll have is that a lot of those college leagues are moving to the spring as well. So now you'll have college football, you'll have XFL football, and then whatever other sports is going on in the spring, all happening at the same time. Now, whether this is a good move or a bad move, XFL is gonna be going up against some competition. And a lot of people love their college football, especially states that already don't have uh, pro teams. So they're going to be more amped to watching their college team versus watching an, NFL, an XFL team that they do not have or an NFL team that they just don't have, which is why a lot of people prefer college over pro anyway, because they know that their state will be represented in some type of football fashion. So the XFL has got some things they got to get figured out. They've got to, 
you know, lock down this television rights deal with Fox. I think, again, that's a great move. Fox is a great station, especially if they bring back their commentary team and everybody that was on board, the con you know, the, the, the camera crew, the production, uh, the production guys, everybody involved with Fox as far as doing television for the XFL, I think is a great, great move. Now, who do I think would be another great, great pick for them? Honestly, I would say CBS. I think CBS would, would, would benefit greatly by picking up the XFL. Um, ESPN would be another one, but again, I'm not sure how they feel about it right now, but I think CBS would be a great, great pick. CBS was not interested in the last season, but I think once they've seen how that season was, I don't know. They, you know, it may may kind of perk their perk their interest a little bit. So we'll see how this story continues to develop. I'll keep you guys updated on that. And yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got for the XFL right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel at Desmond Dukes here on YouTube. Also, turn on that bell for all notifications so you're notified of all news and rumors and anything else that's going on. And you can also smash that like button. That like button greatly helps the channel out immensely. And, you know, just let's, let's keep things going. I mean, we're, we're hopefully going to get some football this year. I don't know. As far as I know, the NFL is still going on. It's still happening. But how they're going to go about that is a mystery. So, I don't know. We'll just see how this things play out. But anyway, thank you guys again um, for checking me out. Take care, and I will see you all later.